Peace and blessings. How you all doing? This is Ibra Fall with the Black Urban Gardening Society. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. Please share it with your family and friends. All right, so today we're going to do a video to show you all how to make your own insecticidal soap, okay? If you have been gardening for years or if you're a first-time gardener, what we all know is that the insects will come and to try to feed on your crops, okay? Uh, there are some of us who are generous enough to allow the insects to consume our crops, uh, but um, I don't garden for their purpose. I garden to uh, try to harvest as much as I can harvest, okay? So there are many methods that you can utilize uh, prior to uh, making insecticidal soap like companion planting um, and things of, that, uh, things of that nature, trying to attract uh, beneficial insects to your gardens or uh, that will prey on those insects. But in the situations to where you have an infestation of an insect and you need extra help, uh, this insecticidal soap will help you uh, eradicate many insects. Uh, it definitely will help you eradicate aphids, white flies, any type of insect that's in a nymph stage, whether it be a Japanese beetle or a squash bug beetle, I mean a squash bug uh, in the nymph stage, it will just destroy them. It'll even destroy the adults as well, okay? So, enough of talking about it. Let me show you how to do it, okay? So it's very simple. We got three ingredients. We got some soap, and the soap basically is going to act as a detergent uh, for any insect with a hard shell. It's going to basically wash away their exoskeleton, cause them to suffocate, kill them, okay? Any soft body insects, uh, I'm assuming it just basically burns them. Uh, it looks like it because on contact, you will see them literally just fold up, okay? All right, and so this works. You only want to use the soap when you have an insect problem. That's it. So when there's a problem, utilize your soap. When there's not a problem, there's no need to use it, okay? Uh, the only other thing that we have missing here is a spray bottle. You will put this in a spray bottle. The reason why I'm not doing it is that I actually do not have a problem with insects right now. So I am making this, and I'm just going to leave this sitting out in my greenhouse. I'll keep it on deck in my greenhouse. So when I need it, if I need it, I will have it, okay? All right, and so here we go. The recipe is very simple. We're going to simply take two tablespoons of the liquid soap. All right, we got one right here. And if you have a soap that's more natural, like Dr. Bonner's or something of that nature, I do suggest you to use that uh, versus the Dawn. But, uh, but more importantly, I suggest, and I would hope you guys will use what you have versus going out and just getting something extra because it all works. And then we're going to just take one tablespoon of the vegetable oil. And the vegetable oil sort of acts like a binder and it will cause the uh, this to stick to the leaves of the plants and to uh, whether insects you're trying to take care of, okay? And uh, once we get it together, all we're going to simply do is just shake it up, all right, and just let it sit there. If you're going to use it on your plants, be sure to, once again, spray underneath the plants. If you have a plant that is extremely sensitive and this formula may be too strong for it, and you notice it sort of burning the leaves of your plants, instantly just take your water hose or some way of watering the plant and just wash the leaves off, and that will be fine. But this formula right here is pretty mild. It's not a strong formula. If I have an infestation that is an extreme, I will go a little bit further and I will add sometimes peppermint peppermint essential oil I like to use the peppermint essential oil just as a scent mask many uh, predatory insects do not like the smell of mint I use garlic as well uh, and in the past when I've had an extreme problem with squash bugs I've actually instead of using a vegetable oil base like this I've used neem oil as a base as well okay and you definitely could put neem in here as well it will take care of the problems. So 
the once again two tablespoons of salt uh, one tablespoon of some type of vegetable oil I'll leave the uh, the ingredients in the uh, in the link below as far as the comments below here and if you have any questions please leave those questions uh, in the comment section of our video so I hope this video helps you guys out I hope it helps you guys grow more and grow more abundantly Remember the food you grow is the food that you know. And this is the Falls of Black Herbal Garden Society. Peace.